Big question coming in, of course, was how's it going to go? Um, are the students going to love it? Are they just? Is it just going to totally crash and burn? Uh, to, uh, it was immediately um, apparent to us that we'd created something special here for not just the kids, but for families as well. ENTER stands for the E-Academy of New Technologies, Engineering and Robotics. It is designed for students that are interested in uh, technologies, engineering principles, um, and, and the computer science worlds. One of the nice elements of this that is maybe not something that was expected or maybe some people expected it, I certainly hadn't even thought of it, was the fact that this group of kids are all interested in similar things and they all seem extremely bright to me uh, when I talk to them. And they're all very unique in that they, they've supported one another really well. And to hear them talk about the program, uh, they're all mentioning the same kinds of things that they love, the fact that they can feel comfortable there, that they can feel confident. But my son has made so many great friends in this program. Technology is moving so much more quickly now. Um, and we use it in everyday applications and work and different, and different things. And I think we need our kids to be skilled in a different way and be able to use those skills. Stu Savard, one of our master teachers at, at Navigate, um, had an idea when I was talking about some changes to the machine programming. And he and I sat down one day and we sort of dreamt up this program in, in principle. What would it look like, you know? And from that point onward, we've had nothing but encouragement from uh, the district, from the parents who got involved originally, from the design team for the program. No program like this exists anywhere else that I know of, where the students are three days face-to-face -face in a specialized classroom with two days on the side that are distributed learning at home, uh, where parents are really co-facilitating the learning, where there's community integration, like this morning you saw the EOD team come in. That's not atypical for this program. They're always in and out of the community, and uh, you've seen the bond that those kids share. The ENTER program is like no other program ever envisioned uh, that I've ever come across in education before. When I think about the ENTER program and what initially, um, when I was hired, for the job at the at the beginning of the year and what we thought the program was going to be it very quickly evolved into something else it still stayed within it it's still you know the new technologies the engineering the robotics that's all very much a, a part of it um, but i think it also became a place for students who didn't really have a place in our in our district who learned in a different way who had interests that really were geared towards that technology side, working with their hands, um, and it gave them a home. These students are very hands-on. You'll see them playing with Lego, you'll see them gaming, you'll see them tinkering, you'll see them taking things apart, um, you'll see them curious about science. So on the Mondays and Fridays, the students are at home um, learning online, but we take the things that they're learning online and blend them into the things that we're doing in the class face to face to augment their their content their curriculum learning it's very much of the model if you swept education clean off the slate and started in today's realities uh, what would education look like it has been extremely fun the best school i've ever been to what Roger said was that if you ever feel bored in anything that you're doing, just move up to the next thing and challenge yourself. We had this project about ancient Egypt and we had a robot go through ancient Egypt and help build all the great monuments. So through that we had to learn the math of the monuments and programming the robot to do that. And also the social studies of how they were created in our history. You know, like everything new, it starts off, you're kind of going, okay, and then it collects and everything 
I mean, it's just the best year and the kids in the class and you just see that, well, you watch them, the exuberance, the, the emotional, just listening to the kids talk about the respect that they have for their teachers and the respect that they have for each other and the development, development that they have been doing. And these kids are speaking out and it's they're not forced into it it's just you just hear it in their voice and the pride that they have in themselves and it's that's that's worth it we went to abbotsford for a robot competition and that was really fun because uh, not only was there robotics but there was a whole bunch of other stuff there was like uh, cooking and there was a lot of stuff you could try and it was really fun and we did really well and my friend got an iPod. I like that you can um, learn on your own level, like you're not being pushed by the teacher, and you have as much time as you want to do the stuff that you are told to do, <laughs> like presentation projects and stuff. We have lots of time. Because part of it's at home, we're able to spend more time um, with our daughter in a different context than we would have normally. Um, so. Now, rather than all the learning mostly taking <clears throat> place in school and then us helping with homework, we're spending more time um, really understanding how she learns, what, what she's learning, getting really immediate feedback in terms of how she's doing um, with her work and, and knowing where to help her. It seems more practical uh, applying all the different kinds of fields of knowledge into an, into an activity because that's what happens in everyday life. It's not discrete little components every time. It's, um, it's you need to draw on a whole bunch of different skills and knowledge and experience to, to make things work every day. They are able to um, find out how they learn best, what works for them, and then they're able to come to Roger and I and say, look, this is what I want to do. So I'm going to learn, I'm going to meet these criteria you've set out, but I'm going to do it in this way. And I think um, that's probably the hugest benefit of the program. I would recommend it to anyone that likes, that needs another output for their imagination and loves computer use and robotics and all of that. It's a very, very good program. Well, I like the friends here because they're great. But I also enjoy all of the, what we do. Like we use our computers a lot, which is one of my favorite things. I absolutely love computers. There's certainly a learning curve to this platform. Once students and families became comfortable with this and it came at different times throughout the year, you could just see the learning, the light bulb go on and the learning take off. And I'm really excited to see where that goes next year with some of these learners now that they've they've got the concept and figured out this, the, the processes and the different ways for, dis for uh, displaying their learning. His first seven years of school were basically staring at a wall or balancing pencils one on top of another. Um, he was just bored and he never talked about school and he talks constantly about the enter and what they're doing and the things they're doing and what he's learned and it's, you know, I'd mentioned to him You've never mentioned, you've never talked about other school before. Why, you know, like, he goes, I've never learned anything new before. So <laughs> it's one of those things that it's opening up a whole extra new world for him. He's assured of himself now, and he, you can see it. There's this level of pride, self pride. I have friends with young kids that are actually waiting for their kids to be in that age group to be able to start onto the program. So just because of the results that they've seen and what they've come out of, what my son has said. I think for me, the most rewarding part was seeing the social dynamics of the class come together. One student said it really well um, in the beginning of the year, just said, this place is great because everybody thinks like I do. So I think for me, that's been really rewarding, seeing these kids in September and now in June, and how much they've grown socially, emotionally, and academically as well. That for me, that's kind of been, you know, a bonus to it. Um, just seeing their, their confidence increase, they come to school, they're happy, they've got smiles on their faces, um, they're not anxious, they, they just, they have a place where they belong. I think that's huge. Here, for the first time ever, they're surrounded with people that speak their own language um, and have the same interests and passions. For many of them, this has been a huge coming out socially for them. 
many of these students have excelled at mathematics this year based off of their realization that math applies to what they're interested in. And they haven't had that piece until they've come in here, touched things, moved things, taken things apart, and seen how uh, math and science really relate to the things that they're interested in. He's much more relaxed at home now. He's also uh, really taken to heart the idea of his homeschooling uh, on the days that he's at home to work independently. And he's more able to take initiative to help at home with other things now too. I think the, the, the biggest change is his level of confidence um, and in terms of his ability to uh, socialize with other kids, to approach the teachers and ask for help but also in his uh, confidence in his ability to do the work, to be recognizing his own talents and his own strengths. He was very anxious in the previous programs he was in, and so that anxiety has reduced to the point where it's almost not even noticeable, and he's just a much happier kid. I think the fact that the teachers are able to take the time to get to know what the kids' strengths are and where they need support and actually have the time to provide it, that's the biggest strength. The heart and soul of it is relationships and social-emotional learning. And uh, those kids feel safe. These kids love engineering. They love robotics. They love computers. They love the, using that to express themselves and their, their spirit. And it's come together. It really has. These kids are in love with education again, in love with their own abilities, where they've had so many challenges before. What are those child's gifts? Every child has gifts. How do we bring that out? If the school's not working for them, how do we redesign the school? I've been so proud to have been a part of creating a space that they feel safe in, some of them for the first time ever in education. These are special students and learn in very special ways. Um, so it's our job to find out how to support that in the future.